on the chicken in once again. It's a breezy, nice fall day here in Southern California. I wanted to bring you guys another workout video. Um, a lot of people have been asking me recently what I've been doing with my uh, workout that's specifically helping me lose a lot of weight and stay consistent. I'm gonna go through with some uh, with an overview of it throughout the video. I'm gonna be speaking on the microphone. I'm sorry, it's a little windy, and I'm talking into my GoPro right now. So it's not necessarily the best microphone. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Anyways, so um, what I've been doing a lot of is uh, EMOMs, every minute on the minute. Um, so today, I just finished my workout, so this is the tail end of everything. Um, I did uh, quite a bit of uh, Olympic weightlifting work. Um, and I did some deadlifts, as well as uh, some timed conditioning work. Uh, the whole workout was in total about an hour and 20 minutes or so. Usually my workouts were like 40 minutes, but I felt generous today and wanted to knock things out. Um, but anyways, enjoy the video. Uh, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next training video. Peace out, everyone. Hey guys, Fondo checking in once again from the Garage Gym. As you can see, today's title is a throwback workout. Today's date is actually February 2nd, 2018. But this video was filmed um, sometime in December or uh, November 2016. Um, I wanted to bring this uh, workout back because uh, this is kind of the my, my workout plan. This is exactly what I want to kind of implement in the next few months to get back in shape. Um, as you can see here, I'm pretty much, uh, you know, a lot slimmer. I think I was around 179, 180, between 179, 185 pounds here. Um, currently, I'm sitting around 190. Um, this is before, you know, all the, the injuries and the piriformis syndrome, my 14-month hiatus from YouTube. Um, this was when I was very active and uploading. Um, as for, for this workout, I wasn't necessarily going for max weight. I was just doing a lot of conditioning work. Whenever I did a lot of conditioning work, I did a lot of compound movements. As you can see here, I was doing a lot of cleans. Um, later in the video, I'm going to be doing um, functional movements like battle ropes, pull-ups, kettlebell swings, uh, jump ropes and such. Um, so, so these are the kind of workouts I want to implement back in. Um, back, back in this day in uh, autumn of 2016, I wasn't necessarily trying to be the strongest guy in the room but I was just really focused on my engine, on my cardiovascular strength, and um, you know, my mobility, flexibility, all that stuff, you know. So I kind of wanted to bring this back and show you just a quick excerpt of what I used to do, what I used to uh, do every day. I used to do this five days a week. Um, the best part about doing high rep work for time is that I never necessarily ever got sore. Uh, sore as much as I did doing like a five by five workout a three by three workout. The sorest I've ever been was doing workouts like the uh, the Shaco or the five three one, even the Candido work, where I would do um, you know five sets of three or three sets of whatever, and then I would take a long break in between. Um, working on my engine also seemed to have helped my recovery, uh, my recovery ability um, from rebounding from these types of workouts. So um, you can call this CrossFit. Um, I, I like to call this uh, metabolic conditioning, you know, just pretty much timed work. The app I used was the Impetus app, I-M-P-E-T-U-S. I'll put a link in the description below. It's, I used it for Android, but I'm sure Apple has it as well. Um, I pretty much, you could, you could set up the time uh, for, you know, one minute um, workouts, 30 minute rest, or 30 minute workout, 30 minute rest. For here, I pretty much just set it for one minute workout every minute on the minute that's what EMOM stands for E-M-O-M -M. Um, so every minute I would do <clears throat> some form of work <clears throat> anyways 
Uh, this was just my workout uh, back then. I'm going to be starting to implement this type of work moving forward, possibly in between uh, strength building work, um, you know, uh, well, the big three, obviously, squat, dead, uh, bench press. Um, if you're going to do this type of work, definitely lighten the load. Um, focus on flexibility, focus on safety. And uh, yeah, it's, def it's definitely a great way to work your cardiovascular health. It's definitely not too smart doing heavy squats um, when you're trying to build your cardiovascular work too. Uh, you, you definitely need the time and break to in between each of those work to kind of focus and focus on form and focus on safety. Um, I know I notice also a lot of people are buying um, uh, these bikes, bike ergs, uh, concept two rowers. Um, but I feel like you know you definitely can get a really really good workout with a barbell, with a pull up bar, um, with some ropes, jump jump ropes and battle ropes. Um, I believe those those types of implements give you the same amount of um, cardiovascular work. All you really need to add is a timer. If you have the Impetus app, if you throw it on and it just kind of runs as you work out, it keeps you on time, keeps you on track, um, your, your cardiovascular strength will just be as good as, um, as good as if you were training on a bike. Honestly, I think it might even be better. Um, anyways, guys, this is my workout for August or, you know, autumn 2016. I just kind of wanted to bring it back. Tell me what you guys think. Um, I know a lot of people, um, this will help a lot of people get in better shape in my personal opinion all right guys please like share subscribe and i will see y'all next time thanks for watching peace out